Over the last 50 years, scientists have become increasingly concerned about the loss of plant biodiversity. Diverse, locally adapted plant varieties have been progressively replaced by a small handful of uniform crops. This has led to homogenous diets and precarious agricultural systems, compromising our food security, nutrition and ability to adapt to climate change. We risk losing valuable genetic information which can help farmers and plant breeders cultivate nutritious and resilient crops. But there is hope. Around the world, gene banks act as guardians of plant biodiversity, collecting plant material and storing it for future use. Gene banks also conserve uh, crop varieties that are for example, more resistant, more tolerant to heat and drought. And we know climate change is coming and we need to adapt agriculture to climate change. And we need to do all that while still maintaining decent yields because we don't want to expand the global footprint of agriculture. With strategic locations around the world, including global hotspots of crop diversity, 11 gene banks conserve and share precious seeds and other plant genetic material. We maintain two gene banks. In Belgium, the International News at Germplast Transit Center is home of the world's most extensive collection of banana diversity. Banana are among the 10 most important staple food crop in the world. 1,000 variety of banana exist, but still 50% of the banana production depends on one variety, the Cavendish, that is under serious threat. The collection consists of over 1,600 accessions and is largely made up of traditional banana cultivars including sweet dessert bananas, starchy plantains and cooking type bananas. Here, under controlled conditions of moisture and temperature, we compare growth of a wide diversity of accessions. The data that will come out of this project will be very important for breeders as well as for growers. Because of the focus nowadays on the devastating disease Fusarium wilkris 4, tolerant and resistant varieties such as plantains and East African highland bananas from our collection are potentially important in mitigating the problem. By distributing accession that are resistant to pest and disease or uh, tolerant to drought or with high nutrition value, uh, we can help uh, smallholders to overcome hunger and malnutrition and improve uh, their income. The long-term preservation, however, is ideally done through crop preservation. Crop preservation or the storage of biological material in liquid nitrogen or minus 196 degrees Celsius makes that all biological, physical and chemical processes are arrested. As such, you can keep the material for unlimited periods. At the ITC, we have currently crop preserved 1,175 accessions. In Colombia, our Palmita Gene Bank hosts the largest global collection of cassava, beans and tropical forages. El trabajo que se realiza en las estaciones de campo es vital porque aquí le damos las condiciones óptimas para lograr una semilla de alta calidad sin patógenos de interés cuarentenario que puede ser distribuida internacionalmente. Adicional, tomamos todas las medidas necesarias para cuidar nuestras plantas en campo y de esta manera obtener la mejor cosecha. La importancia en la selección del lugar de regeneración o multiplicación de la colección mundial de frijol, compuesta por más de 37 mil accesiones, radica en que debemos ver cuál es el sitio en que mejor se adapta, ya que tenemos una diversidad muy grande dentro de la colección. Tenemos material proveniente de más de 114 países. Nos encontramos en el área de conservación de la colección in vitro de yuca más grande del mundo. Es la más importante debido al número de materiales y la diversidad de procedencia de los mismos. Actualmente tenemos cerca de 6.000 accesiones de yuca procedentes de 28 países que incluyen variedades cultivadas, mejoradas y sin pestes. A partir de esta colección se incrementan las plantas que se usarán para otros propósitos del banco, diferentes a la conservación, tales como los duplicados de seguridad y la distribución gratuita a usuarios que se hace en el marco del Tratado Internacional. Todos los materiales que se distribuyen están libres de patógenos de interés cuarentenal. La colección de forrajes tropicales cuenta con alrededor de 22.600 accesiones 
y 700 especies, una colección ampliamente diversa. El Laboratorio de Sanidad Germoplasma es el responsable de realizar todas las evaluaciones sanitarias requeridas para la importación, exportación y almacenamiento del germoplasma a largo plazo. At our gene banks, we conserve plant material, improve conservation methods, increase biological and social knowledge, train a new generation of scientists, promote and provide selected materials according to farmer and community purposes, and ultimately safeguard the genetic diversity of crops on behalf of their country of origin. Our gene banks provide all plant materials free of charge to any individual or organization anywhere in the world for research, breeding, or training for food and agriculture under the terms of the International Plant Treaty. There's a so-called digital gene bank module where we are going to use genomics to better conserve and use crop diversity. And this is a topic that everyone is interested in at the moment. And we want to, be, we want to offer a platform uh, to, to collaborate on this topic uh, in Latin America and globally. We maintain connections with other backup sites in Norway and Mexico for seeds, France for bananas and plantain, and Peru for cassava. El reto más importante que tenemos dentro del banco es continuar este legado de mantener estas semillas en estas colecciones de cultivos tan importantes para los países en vía de desarrollo, como lo son el frijol, los forrajes y la yuca, por 30, 40, 50 años o hasta la posteridad. With the future of gene banks in mind, we have embarked on an ambitious initiative called Future Seeds, a state-of-the-art genetic resources center. Future Seeds Gene Bank uh, is based on three pillars, uh, conserve and distribute. We are going to conserve uh, global collections of key crops uh, uh, for tropical agriculture, and we're going to distribute these collections free of charge all over the world. We are going to have a second pillar uh, entitled uh, Innovate, because uh, there are lots of opportunities, uh, new technologies, genomics, information technologies, that can be used to improve the conservation and make better use of the collections being conserved to help uh, gene bank users to identify uh, the varieties that most uh, suit their needs. And this, the third area, Engage, is designed to really draw the attention of, of society towards the vital role of genetic resources for today's not only agriculture but uh, the well-being of humanity in general. The environmentally sustainable facility will use genomics, digital phenotyping and information technologies to build a knowledge bank for targeted data-driven use of crop diversity. Future Seeds will also serve as a meeting platform for scientists promoting biodiversity as a force for agricultural innovation. El Banco Digital forma parte del componente de innovación de semillas del futuro. Cuenta con un laboratorio que extrae ADN a gran escala para generar información de secuencia e identificar variaciones en el genoma. Large numbers of potentially important crop varieties, especially crop wild relatives, have yet to be conserved. In the face of ongoing habitat destruction, we use cutting-edge technology to pinpoint crop habitats and scale up collection efforts. Every partnership and collaboration helps. We invite you to join us in the global effort to conserve our plant biodiversity. Yeah.